Hey, welcome in everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be the next edition of the Ghostly Take, aka Professor Joe. And this is going to be by far one of the more exciting editions of the Ghostly Take because it's been too long. The Phantoms game got postponed after the first on the 10th, got postponed on the 13th. They had the first game with Hershey back, then had postponements due to their own COVID protocol issues after the Binghampton uh, issues postponed the other two. And now are finally back, their first home game since March 3rd due to the postponements. And they are playing the Wilkesbury Scranton Baby Penguins. And the Phantoms are the more consistent team of the Penguins thus far this season at 7 2 and 2. The Penguins are 5 4 2 and 1. Uh, head to head is 2 0 1 to the Penguins, though, 1 1 and 1 for the Phantoms thus far. But the goal differential, the Phantoms are in the positive by plus 4. Um, the Wilkes-Barre's in the negative at minus three. Uh, the Phantoms have been doing good recently. Um, in their last ten, they're six two and two. The Baby Pens have been doing pretty solid in their last ten. They're five three one and one. So you want to watch out for a team that's starting to kind of find their stride a little bit in this team that has had our number uh, this year as well um, in certain games. So you want to look out for that. That's for darn sure. Um, I think when it comes to Wilkesbury. Um, you obviously got to watch out for some of their veterans. You got to watch out, obviously, for Berger. You got to watch out for Goudreau, uh, Gruden, and then on defense, Lee, Lazat. Lazat's been playing very good um, in the games against the Phantoms. John Lazat, um, he seemed to just play very poised, uh, the mid-26-year-old now, and has played very solid against them. Uh, Maletic, as a young kid, he's only played in a handful of games this far. He has skill, though. You definitely want to make sure you watch out for him as a guy I wrote down. And Drew O'Connor, who got the NHL experience, is a guy that doesn't seem like he's going to need a lot of AHL time. Um, Already has four points in only two games. You definitely have to watch out for Drew O'Connor and Pierre-Olivier Joseph, two guys that seem like they're going to become parts of the Penguins for sword. Miletic seems like he might be able to do that, but not as sure shot as those two. Definitely seem like they'll be able to do that. And then Lazat, the guy I shouted out, is more of a career minor league or defenseman, but just gets it done and does very well down there. Um, I think you just got to continue to pressure this team. The Phantoms have been a pretty aggressive team when at their best this year, uh, getting their defense to lead to their offense, forcing turnovers that then lead to their offense. If you could do that against Wilkes-Barre, um, nothing against Starrett or Legacy or Larme. I just think when it comes to our goaltending, uh, Legacy's playing the best um, when it comes to that, but... Um, he has a 917 save percentage. But if you look at our guys, I just think McIntyre, Sandstrom, and then obviously Lyon hasn't really played this year other than for one period. Um, those guys with a 922, Sandstrom's coming to his own. He's only played a couple games, looked really good in his uh, other two other than this first game. Um, I think we have the better goaltending. So I think if you can just pepper this Wilkes-Barre Scranton Baby Penguins team, and defend their key players like the Drogs, the Lazach, uh, Lees on defense, Pierre Olivier Joseph, they contribute on offense and defense. Definitely Drew O'Connor, another guy I should throw in there is Felix Robert, uh, the undrafted guy that Pittsburgh might have found a good guy out of getting picking him up, where he's been a guy that's looked pretty damn good on the ice against the Lehigh Valley Phantoms and all those games. So if you can defend and lock up those guys, plus other players that might step up since there's always that random guy that ends up having a great game in every game, you'll be able to win against this team. The Phantoms are the deeper team. They're the better team. They have the deeper line depth um, than this Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins team. And now they have even more depth because you saw in his first game he sniped the goal. Wade Allison's a great hockey player. Would we'll probably have honestly almost been up or if not already been up in the NHL if it did not come for injuries in his career. Uh, Pascal LeBurge has played very good and looked very quick. He only has two points, but has looked quick and tenacious on the ice in his seven games played, in my opinion. Forster, who might have to go back to the OHL if it does officially come back, as well as Wisdom, who's our best player. Um, both of those guys obviously look great. Wisdom's a star already in the AHL. And Forster's a guy that just looks like he's been 
a great guy that contributes every night is always doing something right on the ice, whether it's in the defense of a forechecking, an actual checking play, uh, or making an offensive play. Lazinski's a fantastic forechecker that reminds me of Albe Kubel, honestly, a later round version of Knack, and seems like he can be a quicker sender coming from the Ohio State University program. Mason Millman, who would also have to go back to the OHL, has been one of my most consistent defensemen, and that's fantastic to see, to be able to see a guy that you picked in ladder rounds only a year and well two years ago and then he's able to develop and do very consistent already and really show up and show out for you i mean that's that's just great to see that's exactly what you want to see um from your team to see guys that you pick in ladder rounds that already show up when they're not even supposed to be in the ahl yet and perform linus hogberg's another guy maybe he's a guy that when hager moves on uh can come in and replace him and be a similar guy coming out of Sweden that just kind of plays a solid game, not going to do anything overly sexy. But the Flyers have picked some decent defense, but they just haven't picked those guys that are going to take over your team guy, obviously in ladder rounds, which not many teams do. Sometimes you get those hit guys, but they pick solid guys that seem like they'll become defensive defensemen in ladder rounds. The Flyers now just need to, for their team, trade for um, guys that I'll get to in a video with Steel Flyers. That's why I wanted to bring it up to shout that out soon. Later this afternoon, we're going to do the West Division and the Central Division. Uh, defenseman the Flyers could trade for, so please check that out as well. But Samuel Morin, maybe he's an answer. He's been doing good on defense, just moving back to defense, pushing people out of the front of the net. He's been very impressive. You're going to need to do that against this Wilkes-Barre team who likes to try to get to the front of the net. Logan Day's been good in that facet, as well as Derek Pouillard, who's been very good and very consistent as a former first-round pick. That maybe will become the Jared Tenorti for us, where Tenorti, as a former first-round pick, I believe, of Carolina years ago, uh, then made it with Nashville and is now doing solid um, as well this season. So I think if he can maybe be that guy, Derek Puyo, you might be able to make him into a six or a six seven defenseman, a guy that maybe becomes consistent on your third defensive line. And I think he'll probably get a chance soon, just regardless because of how by default everybody's playing. But I think he also sure as hell, damn sure in my opinion, with how he's playing so consistently and smooth and holding together that defensive unit so smoothly for the Phantoms deserves that shot as well. And I think he has a chance to be the next tenority that kind of just impresses in his late twenties and maybe sticks in the NHL as a third pairing defenseman. So there's there's a shout out to Derek Pouillat. I think he's going to continue to play well. Ratcliffe's going to continue to play well. But now to wrap up this video, I'll get to the guys that I think are going to be the players of the game to be able to beat the baby Penguins. Um, I think you're going to continue to see great play from Samuel Morin on defense. So I think he'll come up big, not doing anything huge on the score sheet necessarily, but just making those small plays that need to be made to limit goals. So I think he's going to be one of my top three players of the game. Allison seems to have that spunk coming back from injury, really wanting to impress, so I think he's going to really impress again. And then, obviously, um, you have to go um, with Zade Wisdom in every game. I mean, the dudes just showed up and showed out in every game, and then Willman as well showed up and showed out in every game, so those guys just seem to be stars in every game. And Garrett Wilson and uh, Chris Mueller, the veterans, all deserve shout-outs for just being able to be the great leader that Scott Gordon and others shout-out all the time in the pressers. And it's just absolutely fantastic um, to have all those veterans that just kind of stabilize and help the guys come back from injuries and all that. This team was constructed very well uh, by the Flyers and Phantoms organization, so it's great to see everything coming into fruition then who knows, Greg Carey's still a free agent. Um, maybe if guys have to go back to the OHL, he's a fan favorite. Maybe there's a future of reuniting with Greg Carey when he's ready to come back since his uh, wife was pregnant. So that could be a reason why he wanted to step away, understandably so. But if he wants to come back after guys go back to the OHL, hell, I would love to have him back. He's a great guy and a great guy to have on the team. But this has been a preview to the Phantoms of Wolfsburg's Grand Baby Penguins. My score prediction is going to be 4-3 to three Lehigh Valley. I think this will be a bigger scoring game. The Phantoms haven't played, uh, obviously, in a, quite a while now, in a week. 
I think their defensive legs might be what comes back a little bit later, and their offense might just get going by everyone being really energized and having their legs really under them today. So I'm going to make it a 4-3 to three score. Usually I would be more defensive with how well this team has played uh, defensively, but I'm going to make it today a 4-3 to three score just because of the weak layoff. I hope you all enjoyed this preview. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. This has been Sports Fanatic News. The ghostly take a preview to the Lehigh Valley fans. We'll play Scranton Baby Penguin. I'm Sports Fanatic News. Joe Boric, a.k.a. Professor Joe. Enjoy the hockey and enjoy the Phantoms game, everybody. Go Phantoms. Peace out.